Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this video, we will explore how to model a basketball with easiest way possible. So I have uh, found this polygon cube could be a good start. So the reason is if I take a polygon sphere, it has got poles and this can complicate things. So I'll start with a polygon cube and uh, there are different ways how you can generally make any object into uh, a circular shape especially when it comes to the cube people often prefer smooth tool and then add divisions there and that makes it round but i'm going to take a different approach completely i'm going to add a subdivisions of three three and three and just show you how this is going to work for that I'm going to use a deformer called sculpt deformer and then that makes this object spherical. So let's start with a polygon cube. Again uh, I'm applying mesh smooth for this. Okay with the subdivisions of two to get rough spherical shape there. So once that is done and delete the faces to get only one quarter of it. So this is one quarter here. I'm going to connect this uh, using the multi cut tool and then select this vertex point. I'm going to use the move tool with the component mode and then just move it little bit like that. And when I do that, this vertex will go off. So I'm going to use a grid snap there. Once that is done, bring back all this all your model with the mirror tool so use the mirror tool and then here the z axis is the mirror side so i'm going to choose z and i'm going to mirror it on the negative z and then once you got that you could able to see there are some issues and this is happening because of the merge threshold value is too high so i'm going to take it to 0.1 and delete the history by pressing alt shift d and then mirror this model on the positive x side now delete the history then mirror it on the negative y side now you got your model once that is done select this lines for better visibility i'm switching off the color management so that i could see the dark model with a clear line selection select all the loops here as you could see once you have selected that go to the edit mesh and apply bevel i'll explore the values by maybe 0 0.1 is working or yeah that should be fine now once that is done okay I'll apply mesh smooth again okay that makes it uh, quite uh, dense once that model is achieved this model is not uh, spherical at all there are so many ridges around it and creases around it so what I'm going to do is select this model and I'm going to use this tool called sculpt uh, tool sculpt deformer tool okay you can use this if you want to explore the values you can always explore the values there okay you can explore the project project way the stretch way and see what is really working for you and what's not working so once that is done okay you can delete the history select the middle line again now they are perfect loops now i'm going to bevel it i can use from here bevel and whatever the value has come is fine select the lines here okay and convert them to the ring selection and then convert selection to the faces so i've selected that faces press ctrl e to extrude extrude one time and then press ctrl e this time scale that extrusion to create that nice loop there once that is done, you can press 3 on the keyboard to see the shape, how you got there. Now, 
bring back your color management select and assign ai standard surface shader here i'm going to take a color here and then make it rough so that it looks perfect now once that is done i'm going to move this over the grid and then create a plane there so i'm taking a plane and just creating it there i'm going to assign a simple ai standard surface shader take it a dark color and make it rough that should be a good start i'll take a area light let's put it on the top and rotate it 90 degrees and then put the exposure value of 8 and see whether it's working or not so go to the arnold renderer and then put the render there so you got it nicely what i can do is i can just turn um, frame completely to the gray background and this is what we have got okay so select the model you have lot of history delete them select the model there and then increase the roughness or uh, let's keep it for time being go to the geometry and in the bump map i'm going to choose the ramp and in ramp let's choose the circular ramp and swap the colors here then choose the blending mode to smooth once that is done repeat it to 250 in u 100 in v and then press 6 on the view keyboard so select the model there and then control the bump value which is going to be a 0 0.05 maybe or 0 0.1 as per the requirement so you got this if without selecting if you want to bring the attributes you can go to the focus and then select that attributes there okay now I go to the uh, ramp and then change the values here and I'm, I'm happy with that I select the model and apply a spherical mapping there so I'm not able to see the handle so I switch off the polygons here and then close it like that and then bring back your polygons and you get a perfect placement so I, I will go and see it closely you could able to see that go to the focus and then select the ramp texture enable stagger and that gives you a diagonal arrangement of that balls so 250 by 250 is okay if you want a small a bigger dot there you can always go to repeat and then increase that repeats the dots become bigger okay so i'm going to choose 180 that should uh, look fine slightly i'm going non-proportional here for making it look round okay so 180 120 is working for me and then reduce the bump value to 0 0.08 let me see that in the render maybe okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select uh, the model i switch to default material and then switch off the color management select that edges okay convert selection to ring convert selection to faces so you have selected that faces press shift to full stop to grow the selection and then assign AI standard surface shader so I'm going to switch back my default shader and then bring back my color management and then choose the color to black and put the roughness to 0.4 once that is done you get this as I told you you can go back to your composition whatever you wanted and then try the render again and this is my render view and then render it okay